Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another product review. Today we're going to be looking at airbrush stencils. There are many brands out there and uh, types. I have uh, been given the U-Star uh, modeling tool and the Alexon model uh, stencils. It's good for markings, a replacement to decals, a camouflage, stenciling, all that sort of stuff. Very easy to use. They come in a uh, plastic sheet as so. And they have these uh, tiny little gates with a decent set of uh, wire cutters or nippers. None of your ultra fine ones like the uh, God Hands. Uh, chop them up. You plaster them on the model with a bit of uh, masking tape. The Tamiya stuff does uh, pretty well. Uh, airbrush in uh, lacquers in a really dry coat. Uh, remove, move the stencil. You keep going until the model is finished. The back of the U-Star one actually gives you a brief description of uh, the usage, uh, just as I've uh, explained, and a four-picture panel of uh, roughly how to uh, use it, and you can see that quite a bit of masking tape is used around that tank hull to um, not allow any overspray whatsoever. So we've got a few parts that I've uh, pulled out of the bits box. We're going to uh, put a letter and some digital camouflage on the two legs and multiple layers of digital camouflage on the shield. Now you have to be a bit careful uh, it is a very thin metal and it's uh, taped on in the plastic and you can see already how it's uh, wrinkled by uh, me just handling it and it's just extremely flexible bends and curves around all sources as uh, required there is also a bit of uh, plastic on the back, so that needs to be removed or otherwise you will not be able to spray through anything. Cutting it is very easy. You've uh, got your little gates at the very end. So they should just snap off like that. snap off like that or if you bend them um, backwards and forwards enough they should just snap very so first what we need to do is uh, stick the stencil on the surface we want this is nice it's curved and we're going to contour it by pushing it onto the surface and making sure it gets that shape and you can see it's uh, nicely curved next you want a bit of tape to um, just attach it or tack it to some part of the model and we're able to put the rest of the tape down. Make sure that the uh, stencil doesn't lift. If there's any uh, lifting it's uh, going to get fuzzy and uh, strange underneath. Uh, tape the rest of it up. When done it should be like this. You should also tape down the rest of the bit not to allow overspray. It's a test so I'm not too uh, fussed. When we're spraying, we're going to aim the gun right on top. We are not going to spray at an angle. That will go under the uh, stencil. Do a couple of passes. We'll demonstrate it. Allow it to sufficiently dry not to smudge it. Remove, lift, and after uh, curing, we may uh, do it on another part of the same piece. Now it's all taped down, no parts showing. Some of the digital camouflage pieces are sticking up, so it's not contouring to the surface. As long as we spray straight and the part does not move, it will not be foggy. This bit, because there's bits sticking out there and there. It also goes down to selection of pattern. Maybe it was inappropriate for that location. Here, this piece works perfectly. It's completely contoured and it's all taped down. Let's throw some paint on the three pieces. Here are the parts. I'm going to allow it overnight to dry before I remove. And uh, every day we'll do another layer of digital camo on the shield. These uh, came out really nice. You peel the mask off and put it in a bag with your others. 
and uh, even though there is the slightest bit fuzzy it's pretty sharp very very happy how these turned out this uh, came out a tad more fuzzier I've uh, put uh, more down for the blue we'll do a layer of white and call it quits so this is the mask so far and there's some areas that's a bit blurry what I should have done was uh, contour it closer around uh, the bend and probably just put the flat sides on either sides of the half and not across we'll uh, overlay some more this is laid out a bit better uh, supposedly it should uh, return better results and this is the final layer of masks to achieve our camouflage the paint has been applied so that's all of the mask work uh, yeah I've listed a tiny bit of paint due to no primer and it is slightly fuzzy on the edges on a perfectly flat surface that would be some pretty effective digital camouflage and the lettering came out very very nice so fairly um, impressed I'm sure the more playing the more testing that I do the neater it will be and also being selective about uh, the surface uh, these were a tad on the side of being uh, difficult the side of a tank hull or whatnot would be such a uh, easy thing to do uh, aircraft uh, absolute cinch Gundams not so easy but uh, that aside, very worth buying into, very, very worth uh, buying and trying out. And uh, just love the concept of being able to shade whatever colours, uh, whatever concept. So thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. We've got things on Facebook. We post one to two times a week. Check the description section for links and sources and whatnot and we'll catch you all next time stay tuned for more